Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Shanice Walker, your life coach and your motivational speaker. I thank you so much for clicking the button and finding some importance in what I have to say. Look y'all, I am out and about today. I've been out and about for some time today, y'all, and I I thought about going home and changing my sweater because you know we are in, well, here in Georgia, we are in between the... um fall and summer we are just now transitioning into fall so you know it is cold in the mornings and then in the afternoons it gets hot but i'm on my way to pick up the kids and i got my sweater on y'all i could not wait to pull out my fall attire because it's just something about fall and the the sweaters and the the comfy tights that you get to wear and all that good stuff so i am really all for fall um don't get me wrong now i like summer but i am really all for fall so um y'all i want to be a little bit transparent on today i want to talk to y'all about some things that have um happened in my life and how god spoke to me through my circumstances uh yesterday so, um, I'm going to get right into the message, y'all. And please excuse me because, ooh, Holy Spirit, take over. There has been so many things to take place within the last past three weeks, y'all, that please forgive me. I want to articulate this message to you guys as effective as effectively as I can um God is just so good God is so good and he will speak to you through some of the smaller things some of the bigger things it just does not matter God is going to get his message to you if you have prayed and you have asked God for something please be mindful be mindful that God will speak to you through a small child god will speak to you through a billboard god will speak to you through a, a car tag a car sticker it does not matter whatever god has to use to get your answer to get his word to you he will do just that so y'all like i said i'm gonna be just a little bit transparent on today to um let you guys know um just exactly what came out of the situation and y'all it blessed my soul oh my god it blessed my soul god came through and god spoke this thing in my spirit and y'all i'm gonna get right into it before i go into a praise break baby because that's just how good it is and how good he is but um it started last week last week y'all my i had just used my oven me and the kids had decided to have dinner for breakfast so we had dinner for breakfast i cooked and um we had waffles and and french toast and all that good stuff so mind you i had just used my oven just the night before okay so i got up that next day and got ready to use um my oven and i noticed and see what i done was i cut it on and i just walked away i walked away and i noticed once i got back and i got closer to it and i was like this oven is not on so i opened up the oven to check to see if it had even preheated the oven was not on so y'all I, I i spent most of my uh half of my day uh googling and trying to figure things out and trying to figure out what what is wrong with your stove when the the top is working and the oven has went out so you could just about imagine how that day went so um I found out that it could have possibly been an element. So, y'all, I go to the parts store. I go get the element. It was a whole mix-up with that. But I, after some time, I get the element. I, I get back home. 
I take the old element out. I put the new element in. And this whole time, I'm excited because I'm like, yes, you know. And you know that, that feeling that you have when you are accomplishing something. Like, that was the feeling that I had. I, I, I thought, you know what, God, it's just me and you. Like, I don't, I really don't need any body else i really don't like me and you and the knowledge that i have and the knowledge that you have instilled in me that is all i need so y'all i'm excited i can't wait to cut the oven on just to see if this new element is uh heating up and lighting up orange like they say so y'all i cut it on and i'm waiting i'm like okay so it should be getting hot y'all so i'm checking every second just trying to see if it's even heating up needless to say the element was not the problem, but um, after that day, y'all, after I said I, I was so excited and I thought that, you know, I was about to get that fixed and I ended up not being able to get that fixed. So that was one thing that I had to dust myself off about. And I was like, you know what, God, I understand that there is something that I had to learn. There was something that you was trying to teach me or I've got to figure this out, you know. But then again, I thought, you know, the 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 stove, they don't last forever. They don't last forever. You know, after they, they become so many years old, they go out. So I thought, okay, you know, it's, it's just time for me to get a new one. Okay, so like I said, I dust myself off about that. Okay, yesterday... I'm taking the kids to school, y'all. And, you know, normally it's a busy morning. It's, it's everybody, there are six of them. There are six. So there are six little personalities, and I love each and every one of them, y'all, the same. But everybody, there's never a dull moment. <laughs> let me let me just say that there's never a dull moment in my house or on the way to school so everybody's doing their own thing i got one person talking about this i got another one talking about this i got one big and four dollar for snack and they just all over the place so as i'm taking in everything that everybody's saying I know that I had to have been going the speed limit, which was 50 mile, 55 miles per hour. But I look over to my left, and y'all, I spot this deer. I, I knew by the way it was hunkered down that it was about to bolt out in front of me. Like, it was just a look that the deer had that I knew that it, it, it had already made up its mind that it was crossing the road. So as I said, I'm already going the speed limit. I'm too I'm going too fast. I see it coming out. I smash on my brakes, but there is just no way that I'm going I'm going to avoid hitting the deer. So y'all, I hit the deer. Going 60 miles per hour, I hit the deer. I'm all over the place. My emotions are everywhere at this moment. Like, I, I'm just, I'm shocked. I'm angry. I'm hurt. Because, y'all, it's one thing when something is given to you. You have a different perspective. You have a different way that you look at it. You have a different way that you take care of that thing when it is given to you. But when you have worked hard for what you got, when you have worked hard for everything that you have purchased, y'all, I was immediately hurt because as I hit this big, fully grown adult deer with antlers on it, so I knew it was an adult, I see all kind of chrome pieces metal pieces and i drive a tahoe truck y'all so the grill of my truck is chrome it it, it, it was it's it's a, a chrome grill y'all i see all this boom 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 just flying so i i, I immediately asked the kids or or were they okay i made sure everybody was good and i get out of the truck y'all I look at my baby and she is busted up. Her grill is gone. All, all that front is gone. 
So I couldn't even sit there and ponder on it because, again, this is a main highway. So there's cars coming back and forth. So, y'all, this has never happened to me. Like, I have never hit a deer. Uh, since I've had driver's license, I've never, I have never hit a deer. I have always left that up to my sister because she, if anybody's going to hit a deer, she will hit a deer. It's almost like they smell, they can smell when she's got a new car because they, they, she's going to hit one. So y'all, I immediately, like I said, I'm panicking and uh, stay with me now. So I dial 911 because I'm like, okay, maybe I'm going to need a report for my insurance company and all that. So I'm calling the police as I'm on the phone with the dispatch, a police officer pulls up and he's talking me through everything and he decides, you know, the car is still running. Let's go ahead, take the kids to school and we'll come back and make the report. So y'all, the whole time I'm upset. I never did cry, but you know, I am very upset. I'm very upset, but I had to stay strong for my babies. Everybody was good. I did not want their morning to be any worse than what it had already been, you know, with me hitting the deer and them seeing that I was upset as I was. I didn't want to make their morning any worse. But y'all, long story short, in that is what I'm trying to say. After I had sat down and spoke with the insurance company, and done everything that I needed to do to see if I could get my baby fixed and and get an estimate done and all that good stuff. Y'all, for a split second, I felt defeated. For a split second, I started thinking about how the enemy had been coming up against me so strong just here lately within the last past few months, within the last past year, not even few months, year and I, 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 for a second, I started to give the enemy too much credit. And Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, defeat is a mindset. Defeat is a mindset. And y'all, after everything that I had been listening to and listening to my mentor and, and listening to all of my podcast and just seeing myself knowledge every day and understanding that you know we are what we think in that moment i felt defeated in that moment i felt like every everything was crumbling down around me because i'm a single mother of six children and i work hard for my things and I thought, oh my goodness, it just feels like one thing after the other. This tears up, then that tears up, then I got this problem over here, then that problem over there. And then, you know, the kids might start acting up or just your health might start acting up. You know, it's just for a minute, I felt like, you know what? I cannot win for losing. I cannot win for losing. And in that moment, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and he said, defeat is a mindset. Defeat is a mindset. If you sit here and you ponder on everything that has happened to you within this last past year, if you ponder on your story and your situation from what happened to you yesterday and today, if you sit here and ponder on all the bad Bad is what you will have. Bad is what you are reflecting on and what you reflect. And, and, and eventually what you're reflecting on is what you're thinking about. And so you're thinking about it. You're talking about it. And before you know it, that is what you will have. And God said on today, talk to my people about your situation and what you learned out of it. Because as I said in my last video, things happen, things happen in our lives not to defeat us, especially when you are a child of God. When you a child of God, everything works for your good. Everything. So in that situation, with those occurrences that happen back to back, I said, you know what? I will take this. And I will understand 
that I will not sit and I will not soak because defeat will not be my portion. Defeat will not be my portion. Sadness will not be my uh, portion. Hurt, anger will not be my portion. God has already gone before me. God has already, he has already ordained, he has already defeated everything that has that is trying to pierce me anything that is trying to come up against me so on today i wonder for you how many times are you allowing defeat to be your mindset so you know what y'all after the holy spirit spoke that to me i got up i said you know what this will not defeat me this will not defeat me my daddy has all the riches, all the gold. He owns this. There should be no reason why I should sit here and sulk in this mess. You can get a new oven. You can get a new vehicle. And I knew in that moment, because let me tell y'all a little side note, I went to go and get my headlight fixed because I've got, I, and needless to say, I got all of my things in order for getting my grill fixed. But on that day, I knew that I had to get my headlight fixed because it had kind of uh, smashed my headlight a little bit and it, it busted my bulb. And I knew that I was going to need my headlight for whenever it got dark and I'm driving at night. You know, I didn't want to be pulled over and uh, get a ticket behind that. So I went and I got me a bulb and I uh, went over to a place and I got the guys to put the new bulb in. But uh, that went smooth. But while they were looking at all of the damage, they said, you are lucky. You are lucky because uh, uh, for you to have hit a big deer the way that you hit them, your radiator should be tore up. Your uh, AC should not be running right now. Your car should be running hot at this moment. You are lucky. And I told him, I said, I'm not lucky. I'm blessed. I am blessed. I knew in that moment God was with me. I am protected. Ooh, and so it is with you. You are protected. There is nothing that shall come near you that God has not already known about. God knew. God knew that you was going to come up on that thing. God knew that that thing was going to defeat you. Try to defeat you because nothing will defeat you. You are a child of the most high God. So on today, y'all, like I said, I've ordered my parts. My mindset has changed. My mindset, I knew, Shanice, you are not defeated. That is, that is something that happened. It's something that happened. Dust yourself off. Get back up. Get back in the race. Even though, you know, it was something so small. To me, it was big because this truck is my baby. I worked hard to pay my baby off. I worked hard to make sure that she stays up and running. I worked hard. So, it hurt to see that something that I had worked so hard for had been destroyed. Almost, because like I said, God is a protector. God protected me and my babies. We we are still here. We are still alive. We are still living. We've got breath in our bodies. But God wanted me to pay attention. And on today, pay attention. Pay attention to the way you think about things. Pay attention to the way you see things. Pay attention to how you look at your situations and circumstances as they happen. Because it's easy to feel defeated. It's easy to feel like this thing is going to take you out. It's easy for defeat to be your mindset. Mm. Oh, we and when the Holy Spirit dropped that thing hot and fresh off the press, 
my daughter probably thought I was crazy because I was in my bedroom shouting and screaming and hollering. Because in that moment, I knew to turn that situation around, Shanice, you are not defeated. You cannot be defeated. The only way that you will be defeated is if you allow defeat to be your mindset. I am not defeated because I said so. I will win because I said so. I am royalty. I am rich. You are royalty. You are rich. You are God's highest creation. God made you in his likeness and in his image. There, there shall be nothing that will defeat you. Now, the only way that defeat can take over in your life is if you let it. So my message to you on today, pay attention to your thoughts. And I can boldly come to you and say this to you on today because these are the things that I have gone through and these are the processes that sometimes they have defeat me and I had to come to terms with Shanice you are what you think if you think you are being defeated defeat is your portion defeat is what you will have when you speak when you speak defeat over your life that is what that is what you will have on today examine your situations examine your life and speak life over your life speak with riches speak riches I didn't want to make it sound like I said witches. But speak riches over your life. Wealth. Good health. Peace. Joy. Because you deserve it. You are royalty. Look y'all. This video is so much longer than what I had planned on it being. But I thank you for staying here with me on today spending your time with me if you have not subscribed hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss another video from god hit the like button share comment i like to hear from you guys i love you i will see you on the next video bye